Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Hibiscus Red. Let's give this game, it's supposed to be a point-and-click game. Part 1, Voices from Beyond. Wake up. Oh, it has his actual voice, it's nice. Wake up, Hibiscus. Who is this? Who is speaking to me? Are you an angel? No. Angel my ass. Get out of bed. TTS. Little brat. Uh -uh. Starts in 30 minutes. Text to speech, baby. Let's go. Alright. What do we do? Oh. Gives you like a target for things you can click at. Well, that was an awful and pleasant dream. That yes. angel was seriously pissed at me for no specific reason. Hibiscus, get down here. Now. Damn, I don't want to go to school today. Let's hide somewhere until mom leaves for work. Maybe I can trick her into thinking I already left for school when she doesn't find me up here. <laughs> what? Oh, well, we need this. We need the banana pill. We're going to put it... A, ban a banana pill from yesterday or so. No idea how this landed on my floor. Let's take it. We need it. I take it. When I learned one thing from Granny... So a war can break out at any time. You then would be very happy to have something as a fruity as a banana pill to chew on. Why did you learn that from your granny and not like your grandpa? Weird gum? Is this gum? Gum on my carpet? It's sticky bubble gum. Ew. I wonder who could have placed it there. Probably you, dickhead. I mean, but let's not blame other people. Okay. I better take it with me. Oh, I hit some on accident. My Bagger 288. What's that? It's from Germany. That's your sketch. A picture of me as an infant with my dad. I do miss him. What happened to him? Interact. I really shouldn't move that. It looks good where it is. Alright. What about this UFO? Holy cow, it's a UFO. Please, who doesn't believe in extraterrestrial life? Me. So it is I. It is my Brachiosaurus. I love my Brachiosaurus. Is that little foot? Don't call it Brachiosaurus. That's a god dang little foot. <laughs> oh, we're gonna sneak out the window. This is genius. It's still dark outside. What is mom thinking? Mankind is really the only species on earth that live, tortures itself by sleep deprivation on a uh, daily basis. I wonder if that's true. Yeah, let's not open it. I guess it's still considerably cold out. There at this time. Think. Obey. He likes aliens a good bit. A precious book collection. Only the good stuff. Tolstoy, Dostojewski, Kierkegaard, and Camus. Just kidding. I'm 12 years old. How do you know those people? <laughs> like, I don't think I should carry these heavy books. Although it's a statement to have many leather-bound books. An alien. Oh, there's a ledger on the floor. Let's obey. We'll do, oh great ruler. This is a strange kid. My bed. I wish. Oh wait, my bed. Um. Oh, interact. Mom will come and get me if I try to get back in there. Although it looks so comfy, it's a real shame. All right. This is a neat looking backpack. We got bubble gum and banana. So what we need to do is we need to take the banana. Put it in front of the doorway. Oh wait. Wondering how long this has been laying around. Oh. I thought we were going to set a bamboozle trap with our banana and stuff. That's dad's study room. I haven't been allowed to leave, enter this room since dad was gone. Locked. Mom has the key. Go in the attic. Genius. Oh boy, our attic is such a mess. This is creepy. I up here in ages. Should oh. be safe though. Don't think Mom will look for me up here. This is how you get Let's murdered, have a kid. Look and see what we can find. Are they not? This is scary. <laughs> this is terrifying. Is that a mirror? Beautiful old mirror. I am narcissistic, but not that much. <laughs> he won't interact with the mirror. That's funny. An old painting, a Native American on a horse hunting buffalo. I wonder why this isn't family heritage. Ah, it's a gramophone. An old record player. Looks like Grandpa and Grandma had some fun in their time. 
Looks like an old radio, but there's something odd about it. I can't put on my finger on what it is. Let's put our finger on what it is. Alright, let me take a closer look at this. It worked. Power button. A radio from the 50s with a LCD touch screen? No way. <laughs> These buttons don't do anything. Strange. Can I use my banana pill here? Do you want some bubble gum? How do I make it do things? Do I do like this? No. What about this? Okay, interesting. Uh, shut it. Oh. I don't, I don't want to do anything with it. Another shelf of bits and pieces. It's insane how much stuff of this stuff we are hoarding. Alright. Can't find anything useful here. I don't know how to use items in my bag. Another shelf of bits and pieces. It's insane how much of this stuff we even have. Okay. Books. Oh, okay, so it's all the same? I'm not, okay, got it. Got it. Is this a treasure chest? It looks like a treasure chest. A wooden chest with iron fittings. An old fairly family heirloom. I wonder what's inside. I don't know. Let's open it. The heavy lid of the chest slides open as Hibiscus pulls at it with all his strength. Inside God. there are lots of books, letters and newspapers. One particular newspaper draws Hibiscus' attention. Ah. Local scientist disappeared without a trace. Local scientist Roland Red has gone missing since Saturday, June 21st. According to his it's so hard to scroll. Was last oh, there he goes. Their apartment on Vermont Avenue in Anaheim around noon. A few hours later, he could no longer be found, and even the police forensics experts who had been alerted could not locate him the following day. His wife put this on record as being completely atypical of her husband. She <laughs> stated that Roland had given no indication that he was planning to leave. According to the police, they cannot rule out the possibility that Roland Red was the victim of an abduction, but there is no evidence Aliens. of this yet. Also Aliens! Also, to be clarified whether the disappearance of the acknowledged quantum physicist is related to an earthquake that alarmed Vermont Avenue residents in the early evening the day of the disappearance. So the investigation will continue. The police asks all fellow citizens who have something to contribute to the clarification of the case to turn to their nearest police station. Roland Red leaves behind his wife and their four-year-old son, Hibiscus. Oh my god, my dad was abducted by aliens. What is this? I don't know. always said, Dad died in a car accident. An alien car this accident? Missing ten years ago. UFO drive-by, baby. What is going on here? I better show this to Mom and let her explain. After we've been hiding? That sounds like a terrible idea. We've literally been hiding up here so we wouldn't get caught. Now you want to go back downstairs? What? What are we doing? Okay, I guess we'll go downstairs. Let's go to the storeroom, actually. Can we? Oh shit, what the storeroom? This is the kitchen. No, don't interact with our fridge. Oh boy, I'm starving. That's a weird... Oh, uh, we like cheese, apparently. Let's grab this knife. What a quiet, peaceful, boring neighborhood. With a knife. We need it. Better take this with me. Hibiscus, did you just grab something off the kitchen plate? Mom, please. It isn't even, isn't it obvious I'm not sharp enough for something like that. <laughs> Good one. Watch it, young man. I'll keep an eye on you. Okay. <laughs> That's my mom. Most times she's act strict. I guess I'm not making it easy for her either. I won't tell her directly, but I love her dearly. She is the only person I have left since dad went missing. Alright, what about this photo? Good morning. My name. My name. Late. What on earth did you do up there? School starts in half an hour. Get ready already. No. Sure thing. Tell me about dad. Tell me about dad. Excuse me. Where does this come from now? Just thought about him this morning. Well, your father was a great man. His only two passions were his family and his scientific work as quantum physicist. 
He was internationally recognized in the world of science and at the end even nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physics. But don't mm. be fooled Hibiscus, his greatest making was you. He was thankful every day since the day you were born. Where is he? You know where he is. He died L in a lies. ten years ago. Since then Show it's the newspaper. Why do we live here in Anaheim? Where's Anaheim at? Your father That's where the Mighty Ducks are. Ago and we bought this apartment. Where is it at, though? A short time later, you were what state is Anaheim, man? Your father was California? Just the two of us. Anaheim, California. That Lincoln sounds right. Was out of the question. I had enough to do with keeping both of us afloat. Don't you like it here? It's pretty dull here. Dull is good hibiscus. Trust me. I wonder what she means. She's talking about your dad getting abducted by aliens. Tell me about Tell yourself. Tell me about yourself. I'm your mother and find your question. I'm your mother. One morning even stranger than yesterday's. Oh, at least she's self-aware that I asked her a strange question. Why do I have to go to school? Not again this debate, Hibiscus. Look at it this way. Even if you're right and school is actually a waste of time. In our world, good grades are still the only way to start a career and find a decent well-paid job later on. It's like a law of nature. You can't stand against it or you'll get crushed. Maybe I don't even want to live in such a world. Well, it's oh, wow, that's dark. We have, so deal with it. Deal with it, Hibiscus. I'd like to take a look in Dad's study room. I no. don't think that's a good idea. Why not? I'd like to learn more about my father. Okay, but I don't think you will be satisfied. It's just books and more books in there. But right after school, I will let you in. Let me in. Okay. Mom, I just found this. In ah, the that's how you use it. You drag it on Please things. Please tell me what's going on here. I knew this day would come. Uh oh. Hibiscus, please be strong. Your father. I love <gasps> you. Oh, where was the weeping at? No one knows what happened to him. He did not die in a car accident. He vanished. He disappeared. Hi, right, Microsoft Sally. From moment to the next. He, he abandoned us. Please don't cry, Mom. If nobody knows what really happened, we can't be sure he abandoned us. What about the, the earthquake? The newspaper article mentions an earthquake that happened shortly before Dad disappeared. Yes, we had lots of strong earthquakes at that time. Almost one every week. Yeah, you live in that California. That was definitely the worst I can remember. The ground was shaking as if there was an eruption right underneath the house. Oh my, that sounds horrible. Terrifying. The newspaper article mentions an investigation that took place regarding a possible abduction of Dad. What do you think? I heard that theory in those days, but I wouldn't know anyone who hated Roland enough to do something like that. Maybe it was no hate crime, but they wanted Dad's research? Hmm. Your father was a brilliant scientist, but I doubt his research would have justified such an action. So no, I don't think an abduction took place. Aliens! Give me the key. Mom, can I have the key to Dad's study room? I don't think this is a good idea. If please, Mom. Maybe I can find some clues in there. I need to know what happened to Dad. Fine, I can't stop you anyways. Take the key. I mean, you could. Can you tell me what happened that day? Sure, honey. Let me think. Roland was in uproar that day. Something was bothering him. I always could tell without him saying. But he did not mention that he was planning to leave. It was Saturday. We ate dinner at noon. Then he went in his study room to work for a few hours. In the evening we planned to go out to a birthday party at the Miller's house. He worked on Miller Light. Yes, often. The life of a scientist isn't as orderly as you would think. He would sometimes wake up in the middle of the night, run into his study room to take notes or validate hypotheses. Hmm. He was always at work, at least in his mind. What happened after he went into his study room? A few hours later there was a massive earthquake. After I got you out of harm's way, I went upstairs to look for Roland, but I couldn't find him. I screamed his name, searched the whole house, but he was gone without a trace. He opened a portal. Again. This is like some Rick and Morty graphic kind of things. I don't even watch that show and it looks similar. Stabber! Too dangerous. Someone can get hurt. That's the point! Our friendly, reliable stove. Alright. Um, what shall I cook this fine morning? Hibiscus, get away from the stove. I swear you're full of mention. Oh, I tried. 
I do like the graphics in this game, though. It's really weird watching the characters move through this world. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm good. Leave that alone. Alright, I think we're good here. We need to go upstairs. We got the key. I haven't been allowed to enter this room since Dad was gone. Okay, open it. That, oh, I need to use the key. Lock. Mom has the key. No, I have the key, Hibiscus. I have the power. He opens door. It's a natural course of events. Interesting. Interesting observation, Hibiscus. Whoa, what a nice chair. Looks like we're skipping school today. Dad's armchair. Interact with it. It's comfy, but sadly, it's no time for us. An oil painting with an idyllic landscape. I wish I was there wherever it is. Is there a way to unclick things? Yeah, there is. Okay, good. What all can I interact with here? The computer. I guess there's books. Dad's work computer. Interact with it. Alright. I don't freaking know. Hibiscus. Hibiscus again. I don't know. How am I supposed to know that? Alright. Let's look for some clues. We need the clues. That's bookshelf. These are almost entirely scientific publications. The author represents the who is who of quantum theory. Title? Oh god! I clicked too much. The title of the book is Structur der Romzeit from Aaron Schrodinger. Also in German. No idea what it means. I don't mean anything. Uh, look at this. Postcard of the 5th Solveig International Convention in 1927. The who's who, who's who of quantum theory in that picture? I guess dad would have loved being there with them. There's got to be something in here that's... Oh, the book is Uber, another German book. I need to stop clicking so fast. Okay. Patience. Niels Burr. Okay, there's a lot of German books here. That does not help me. Oh my god. Origin and Development of Quantum Theory from Max Planck. I feel like these might have something to do with the password, but I'm not sure. Are there different shelves, or are they all the same shelf? Uh, I'm still confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. What would the password be? Is there something I can look at that might give me a clue? Too dangerous. Someone could get hurt. The computer, maybe. Great idea, let's smear a banana all over the place. Not? Okay. I don't need this hostility, my dude. I... I am so confused here. Alright. Let's see if there's something else we need to look at. Ah, now we're in the store. Oh, this has got a crack in it. A poster of my father's favorite physicist, Paul Dirac. Crypt, I wonder why. I don't know. Expect it. Ah, let's use a knife on it. Cut that bad Let's boy. Let's see what Dirac thinks about my badass knife. Hey, progress. Take this paw. Oh, gotcha, Paul. What do we get? Those are my fun. What used? Interact. There we go. Give me There's stuff. There's a notebook hidden in the hole in the wall. I better take it with me. I wonder who put it there and why. Plot thickens. That's no book. 2009. Whoever finds this, it is probably because something bad has happened to me. In this case be aware I have taken precautions. The research I am doing is extremely dangerous and may under no circumstances fall into the wrong hands. Two years ago I made a breakthrough discovery. I managed to open a door through space and time. Huh. Originally, we could only send radio waves through it but not anymore. Meanwhile, the bridging device can transport matter through space and time, which will enable us to personally travel between dimensions. I supervise the research day and night, because I watch with rising concern as the multinational group that finances my research is carrying out ever more invasive actions in anticipation of a pending commercialization of the technology. Meanwhile, I regret so much, but there is no way back. 
May reason prevail and may my invention not plunge the world into chaos. In quiet desperation. Roll and read. P.S. More information about my research is hidden in my computer. The password is derived from the initials of the person who is still the true inspiration for all of my work. Who's the inspect? How am I supposed to know who's the inspiration of your work? Me? One must be hoarding this stuff for ages. I'm afraid of nothing of interest. Can I take this golf club? That might be nice. We might need that. I better take one club with me. You never know when things these things might come in handy. True. True. Preach. I like how this kid's not afraid to pick up things. Nice. Alright, I gotta figure out who's the real person of his work. But I can't interact with this shit anymore. I'm so tilted, actually. What's my dude's name? Hibiscus? I wouldn't have initials, though. Ah, that's right! Oh! But... Oh my god. How am I... I can't interact with these things anymore. It's broken. Oh, I'm so tilted, actually. Oh my god. I can't interact with any of this shit. Oh my god. It's broken. Oh, I'm so tilted. Are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Is there a way to save? Well, oh my god, please. If I have to restart, I'm gonna be actually super tilted. Keep it back out anymore. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna, I need a pen and paper so I can write that shit down. I am so f Oh, I'm gonna have to restart and I'm pissed. Why do I need to know? Oh my. Oh, wait. Oh, thank God. It's a miracle. Good job, game creator. Oh my God. Good job. WH. Okay, so each individual book is different. I thought it was. Okay, I get it, kind of. Enrico Femi, which is EF. I've already got that one. Got that one. E dot A dot A on drag. All A M drag. Oh, things to try. Alright. All A dot M drag. A dot M? Oh my god, we did it! Oh my god, it's pammed. I'm so pissed. Okay, I suck. Okay, three unread messages. Hey Roland, I just evaluated the latest simulation results Lord. and I think Mark is right. We should now be ready for the next step. I know you still have concerns, but we should not wait any longer. Bill in accounting messaged me last week. There will be severe consequences if we don't reach milestone 5 by the 7th of August. Please grant your clearance so we can proceed. Best regards, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Dear Mr. Red, we haven't heard from you in a while. It seems you also have instructed your employees to keep quiet about the status of the project. Let me emphasize, the board members and especially the chairman are very concerned at the moment. Please give us an immediate status update so we can assess the situation at hand, otherwise we will be forced to send our own observers. We need to know what's going on. Yours sincerely, Dan Simmons. To all personnel of our North American high security facilities. 
from now on access to all areas is restricted by the following key codes. Red 3, Green 4, Blue 6. Unauthorized disclosure of these codes will be persecuted according to civil and criminal I law. I said that on my notes. Got it. Anaheim, December 22, 2008. Today we finished work on the bridging device or as we call it internally by its project name, the Uber Brucker. The Uber Brucker is capable of bending space-time by creating an artificial axial gravitational quantum anomaly. Such an anomaly would usually only occur under extreme gravitational conditions like in the gravitational fields of neutron stars, black holes or shortly after the Big Bang. But we were able to induce it artificially within a crystal of niobium and phosphorus, a so-called whale metalloid, by applying a magnetic field to it and generating a temperature gradient in the crystal. In the next couple of months we will run the machine in simulation mode, to see if we can achieve what we were ever longing for. Roland Red, Anaheim. May 14, 2009. As simulation 3.14 showed promising results, we tried sending radio waves with very short wavelength and tremendously high frequencies, THF, so-called T-rays, through the breach, it was an utter success. At a frequency of exactly 1954.236 GHz the terahertz radiation penetrated the breach and we were able to transmit the David Bowie song Starman into the other dimension. That's cool. The bridge was stable for almost 20 seconds. It's actually pretty in-depth story. This will go down in history as it opens up a new era of mankind. Interdimensional travel is within reach it seems. Roland Red. Anaheim, March 3rd, 2009. The simulations of the last months indicate the Uber Brucker is indeed capable of ripping breaches, also known as wormholes, in space-time. Those breaches can be as large as houses or as small as microbes. The more power we apply, the stronger the electromagnetic field applied to the whale metalloid gets and the bigger and more stable is the resulting breach. The simulations suggest the facility needs the power of a small town to open up a breach hmm. the size of a penny, so we will request additional resources for building our own power generation grid capable of delivering the required current. We surely do not want official authorities mingling with our affairs just because of our high electricity bill. Roland Red. Well, Done that, I've done that, unless there's something I scroll or something. I guess that's it. For that anyways. Alright with this bad boy, see if we can do something different now. Alright, let me take a closer look at this. So we want THF. Then how do I adjust the frequency? Ah, one, three, one, nine, five. Now one, nine, four, two, three, six. Knew you could do it, son. Oh, listen closely. Oh, fam. Trapped here. You have to find me. Open the breach. I need electricity. The in my study room. The key is the principles of quantum mechanics. Pre hibiscus. They can track this signal. They will come after you. Who? Not much time left. The world is at stake. Oh. What oh, the sh fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck was that? Was For real. Said, was it Dad who was speaking to me? Burn. What the fuck was that? The voice called me son. Was it Dad who was speaking to me? No way. What's going on here? And what's with that key in the study room? Fuck. There we go. What now? An earthquake. Oh my god, that was mom's voice. I should check on her. Hopefully she hasn't been injured by the earthquake. There we go. That's better. I skipped this somehow because I'm dumb. I clicked too fast. Um, what happened? Oh, hell! Okay. Who is that man? Hibiscus. Oh, she got shanked! You monster, why did you do this? Come to me, little man. I will show you. Hibiscus, you must run away. <laughs> Mom, I'm so sorry. This is not good. The this arm. must be some kind of... Keep calm, Hibiscus. Let's try to escape this madness. Think. 
What is to do? This is in time to use the banana. Okay, he does not like using the banana. Screw it. I'll take the banana with me. Oh, I'm got shank, dog. Like, so confused on what to do with this part. Like, I could shut the door, right? And then what am I supposed to do from here? Door shut. Got it. Back in. Oh, basement. Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, what the hell? Some kind of laser beam. Free again because I skipped it. What's this thing? Can I open it? It's sealed. Maybe there is another way. Sure there is. Knife. Why not? Let's try. Screech scratch. No way, it's not working. The lid doesn't move at all. Oh, well I got some, some more heavy duty for you. That doesn't work. Aha! It'll have to work. Okay, it doesn't work. Alright. I'm so fucking... So confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm missing. I'm missing something, though. Damn, it's broken. There's... Yes! Genius! We got a new thing. Alright. Now we point the- Oh my god, we did it, I think. I think we figured it out. Struggle. Oh my gosh, this game is taking too much brain power. Point and click games I suck at because you gotta figure out neat ways to use items that I would never think of. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go back to the basement. We're ready. We're gonna use the mirror to reflect the light. Genius. Okay, let's try to divert that laser. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Too easy, son. What? Uh, this is the code from earlier, right? Three, four, green. Blue is six. Green is, f red is three. I don't know what bad is. I don't know what yellow is. Damn, seems to be incorrect. All right, let's try it again. Six. Seems to be incorrect. Damn, seems to be incorrect. Yes, the door unlocked. <laughs> you just gotta guess what yellow is, because it gives you other things in that one message. Genius, nice. Oh my god. Drag Corp. A secret laboratory below our apartment in the most boring town in the world? Whoa! Seriously, what was that thinking? And what's next? Nefarious. Mutants? Aliens? Sickest dream ever, that's for sure. I don't think it's a dream, my dude. But, I could be wrong. Alright, let's go to space. It's our time. Oh, what the? Try something real quick. Curious.
That's different. Never been to 150 before, I don't believe. Yes! Oh my god, we did it! Oh my... Oh, we did it! Thank god! Oh my goodness gracious play... I just literally spent like an hour on that puzzle. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, we figured it out. God. Oh my heart hurts. Bro, I will shank you. I have a knife. Alright guys, I'm about to try this again. I read the creator's review and he said, I think he believes it's beatable. So I'm gonna try it again. If I'm wrong, I'm a jackass, but I'll at least try it to make sure that it is beatable. He said that there, I was on the right track with the generator, so I'm gonna try that part again. Luckily I played it last night, so I'm right at the end. Um, when I was trying like multiple things to get it to work, so... Maybe I have to get the generator to overpowered. Maybe that'll make it work because I did get it to regular powered last night and it didn't do anything for me. But he said the fact that there wasn't a back button was a hint. But let me try it. Alright, we're under charge. Let's get it. Get this thing to max power, baby. Hopefully, we'll get like a different ending. Alright, that's max charge, baby. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Alright, he's right. I'm fucking stupid. Okay. <laughs> my bad. You fool, what have you done? I'm the breach keeper. You can't escape your We'll see about that. I see you in hell. Um, I'll replace the old YouTube video with the new YouTube video where it's actually complete. He was right. I'm stupid. Alright. But yeah, he, the hint he was providing was that there wasn't a back button, so I thought it was a glitch, basically saying that you weren't supposed to do it, but I guess it was a hint that you were supposed to stay there and do it. I guess it makes sense. What a ride. Cool, we're in space. Good question. So I owe the creator a fucking apology because I fucking flamed this game when there was a way to do it. Well, um, my bad. <laughs> at least I, at least I'm not one of those people that does a video and then they're like, oh no, blah 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 blah, and then they make up excuses why they're fucking right and blah blah blah. Because I've seen people like that too, where people do a review on a game. I literally watched a dude. There was an in-store shop for a game, and I was like, dude, there is. And then he was like, well, that's a stupid place to put it. It's like, well, you, it doesn't matter if you think it's stupid or not. It's there. But I will admit I was wrong, and that's the ending to the game. And I do want to thank the creator for responding so quickly so I could fix my video and upload it back, and then fix my review as well, because that was the main reason I gave it a not recommended. But all right, guys. Bye!